And you all need to understand, these are military weapons. These are assault frequencies. It's microwave radiation warfare. This is what this is. I think anyone who puts Wi-Fi into a school should be locked up for the rest of their life. I really do. I think they're not fit to walk on the surface of this planet because they haven't looked at the research and whatever incentive they have, it is not worth the genetic problems that parents are going to face with their children when they're born. The DNA inside you, the mitochondrial DNA, you can trace unchanged to your mother, her mother, her mother, right the way back to the beginning of the human race in Africa, the Stone Age. It is unchanged, which means if you damage it, your child could be genetically damaged, then her child, and her child, and her child, forever. You are condemning the future generations of every single child. Your embryo, your uterus, where your child is developing for the first 100 days, in the ovaries, so they are at maximum risk from radiation. And for the first month or so, you wouldn't even know you were pregnant. You wouldn't even be taking precautions. That is the main danger area. So you give birth to a daughter, but her ovaries are now contaminated. She may be normal, she may be genetically damaged, but her ovaries are at the most risk. So when your daughter grows up and she becomes pregnant and has a baby, this is where one of these eggs will be fertilized and come out. So the real damage here is your grandchildren. That is where it is going to show most. Do you think that there is a chance that within the third generation of females, they may be irreversibly sterile? Not in the third generation, but in the fifth generation, and that would for humans be something in the order of 150 years ahead of us. And of course, then it's too late to say that you are sorry, and it's very too late to say stop. There is a wealth of papers, I mean we're talking about thousands of published papers in the scientific literature, few of which or sometimes none of which have entered the official documentations from authorities and likewise. So I think it's really time to have an independent compilation of data. Such was done at August 31st, 2007 in the form of the Bioinitiative Report of which I was one of the authors. And then we put together approximately 2,000 scientific references on a little bit more than 600 pages, clearly saying that if you, for instance, if you are a rat or a mouse or a cell or a molecule, you should definitely not allow yourself to be exposed to this. And in the meantime, we have this full-scale experiment using our own kids. Weapon system masquerading as a modern efficiency technology. It most certainly is. And what I'll put it down to, it's economic terrorism. There is no value, nil, in killing off your population, in destroying your ability to grow food to kill all your pollinators. They may have a nice financial number on a piece of paper, but in reality, dementia, diabetes, all the things that are currently crippling the NHS, Measured microwave radiation levels from the transmitters uh, on top of the LED streetlights, uh, the basic 868 megahertz, it was significantly higher than the current Council of Europe 1815 resolution, which is a maximum of 600 millivolts. I've measured up to th over 3,000 millivolts. Uh, five times, five to six times higher than the than the guidelines. Significantly higher than, than the current Council of Europe 1815 resolution. Almost immediately, I had neighbours knocking on the door, uh, talking about children bleeding from the nose. I had images posted on Facebook.
it is a, a perfect stealth weapon and when governments don't like a group of people for instance the, the ladies who protest at Greenham Common they were microwaved we microwaved Catholics in Northern Ireland to make them sick uh, it, it goes on all over the world and it, it's a weapon that you don't know you're being targeted because the dose is very very low which is actually more dangerous than a high dose it's very very low and it may take a year or two but you can you can cause neurological damage and cancers with low level microwaves and you can make all your opponents sick it, it's a perfect weapon for a government our impulses are being redirected we are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep their intention to rule rests with the annihilation of consciousness we have been lulled into a trance they have made us indifferent to ourselves, to others. We are focused only on our own gain. Please. Those transmitters, these are radar. It is phased array radar. Though that radar signal sweeping the countryside will kill every pollinator, every biological structure, it will sterilize livestock, it will kill the ground. So consequently, land won't have a value. Uh, Obviously, farmers will die. The community will be under attack. The community will be under attack. Understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. Keep us asleep, keep us selfish, keep us sedated. Today, our governments and uh, the corporate sector have managed somehow to infiltrate the mainframe of our civilization and are pushing through a $20 trillion infrastructural rollout without any, and I mean without any, health science running behind it. There have been no tests. Your government and your health authorities are either in collusion on this matter of genocide and ecocide, or they're just damned stupid. And I would suggest it is the latter. Shame on the technologists and the uh, electricians who are uh, furthering this technology in our homes, in our offices, in our streets. Shame on the legislators and the parliamentarians and the troglodytes and bureaucrats that proliferate our society today. Shame on that echelon for putting their signatures uh, to contracts which allow the fast tracking of this technology into our homes and onto our high streets. Shame on the parliamentarians and international leadership whose wet ink signatures and seals of office are sanctioning and permissioning uh, the rollout of something which is uh, arguably the greatest threat to humankind. Shame on each one of us who now fail to get up uh, out of our homes, walk out of our front doors and challenge every so-called authority who dares to violate our bodies, our homes and our future generations.